already put it up in a pony. I should probably put mine up in a ponytail. Hello! Ah! Yeah. <laughs> so we're in an empty garage. We are about to work out for the last time. Yeah. We're gonna run through y'all's questions and we're gonna drink our pre-workout. You can tell it's very green, green apple. This is going to be a long one, I feel like. So sit back and relax and thanks Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Let's dive right in. No particular order we're just gonna go as we read them so they'll be all over the place <laughs> a little bit all over the place it's like we always are yeah it's true are you gonna do any type of virtual workouts together when you move I do not know I would say probably not <laughs> it's just weird it feels weird yeah and like a like a hassle to set up but I never say never no well and I mean we'll keep up with each other there's very few people that I have on my Apple stuff yeah and so, so I, mean, I guess that's virtual in a, yeah in a way yeah. so we might maybe do not like, the way you wanted but <laughs> yeah we might do competitions and stuff or if we're in a position eventually where we're we aren't traveling or doing anything and we want to do like a live with y'all maybe i don't know mm -hmm. something like that maybe but we also aren't going to be that far away so i think it's more likely that we will meet up yeah. And work out or do a couple days worth of workouts than it is doing anything virtually. And we can do like little workout camps. Yeah. <laughs> the training camps. Yeah. Like a weekend. Meet in the middle. Yeah, and do like a weekend working out. That, if y'all would be interested in seeing that, us like meeting halfway and doing some hotel style workouts. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there'd be like local hikes or things for us to do uh -huh. too. April, do you have a tongue ring? <laughs> no. <laughs> I used to have one. You did? Mm -hmm. I took it off like Interesting. a couple years ago. I didn't know that about you. I think it's a, uh, maybe like three years ago. I took it, it was, I had it for a long time, for like 10 years almost. Oops. I feel like I would always be playing with it. Yeah. I think it's like my teeth started to get kind of, it started to ruin my teeth from the, from the inside kind of. Mm -hmm. Interesting. That's what it does. People say that. Oh, that's what, like some people like to say. Oh, it's not gonna ruin my teeth because I don't play with it, and I didn't really play with mine either. But it still made a difference. Like a, my teeth. I ruined my tongue. I'd be on pool. Like I'd be. Out. <laughs> I've been I, times. Maybe not. Hey, okay, Diet Devin asked us, and I like this question. Do you prefer squats or deadlifts? That is a hard one. I feel like as of right now, I prefer deadlifts because I can do more weight on them. I can put more weight on the deadlifts. I prefer squats. Oh, <laughs> I like them both. I, I feel like it's a depends on the day. <laughs> I would agree. I feel more powerful lately when we do when we were doing deadlifts. Mm -hmm. Like right now, the gym. I'm about to show y'all. The gym is empty. There's nothing in here. We got a medicine ball. I got some kettlebells yeah. in my car. And that's it. Yeah. Um, but I, do, I like squats, but then I feel like I need like if I really want to go hard and Challenge myself and get like my like max reps and whatever I need a spotter Yeah, well, we need a different setup too. like mm -hmm. to be fair I haven't gone my like neither one of us have tried even to go max. Yeah It's yeah. easier as of like right now to do try maximums on a deadlift rather than a squat. Yeah so. Yeah, I would agree with that I would agree. Um, how many babies both of y'all have? <laughs> how many babies you want? Uh, maybe just one more, so it would be two in total. But you never know. I would take as many as I was given. So far, I haven't been given any. So, um, I think ideally at this point, just probably two. Yeah, I feel like two is just like. I would love I to have twins. I would love to see your dream. Then I'm yeah. be babies if I get twins next. But I don't know if I'm gonna get it. You know, you never know if you. Be blessed with babies or not. Yeah, it's true. And if we do go the fertility drug type way, then it's possible I could have like two sets of multiples. I would love to have two sets of twins and then just to have two pregnancies and have four babies. Yeah, and then you'd be, and done. be wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> four. I would, I would be. I would be. These people say one and done, then it would be, you know. I feel like. Two pregnancies. <laughs> done. I feel like I'm a lot less equipped to handle four kids at this stage of life. I feel like if I was like 22, I would have yeah. like handled four kids. 
like super, I would have just been super excited mm -hmm. about it. And right now I'm like, oh, I need like, I need X amount of sleep and X amount of this and X. And I know like when you're, you know, at mommy, you don't get to say that. So I'm like, I don't know. It'll be interesting. I know I need a lot of sleep, but I don't know if it's necessarily always get it. But like in the beginning, your hormones kind of protect you from that. Yeah. From sleep deprivation, even though it's still bad. Yeah. But it could be a lot worse. Yeah. And it flies by. It doesn't feel like it, but it will. I thought you said like there's a fly, and I'm like, oh, where? Where's the fly? Um, yeah, I can see that. Which one of you is the funniest? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think they're both kind of funny. I think we're both funny. I think we have our moments. <laughs> I also think our humor is quite similar. It is. It. Yeah. It's very, I feel like it's kind of dry, but also kind of wacky and know. weird. <laughs> I, I think we're it's weird. Best, best we're weird and quirky and dry <laughs> and sometimes sarcastic. I feel like our, our humor is very like, um, how, the, how do you say it? Like it's very tightly like tied to like our surroundings and like what we do. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that's true. And also like telling stories, like mm -hmm. a lot of our, funniness comes from just reenacting things that we're, <laughs> we're generally like upset about or happy about like whatever it is we get we're into eventing. yeah it's a good night Alpha. let me live my life <laughs> we get into characters too even if it's just imitating our past self from like you know 10 minutes ago it doesn't matter what the story is we get into characters i would say we're both funny in our own way that's very similar and I don't know if other people find us funny, but I find us <laughs> hilarious. I enjoy, I enjoy our, I enjoy our laughs because We're I feel like we laugh. Like awesome, so. Yeah. Um, how do you keep going when it gets hard? <laughs> I don't know. Am I, am I going? <laughs> That's our, <laughs> That's another stupid, question. Our stupid joke. I don't know. Am I going? Yeah, I don't know where we're going. I think. I think routine and a habit keeps keeps us going and yeah. and I think yeah. it's going to be a challenge to keep going after. And like this is kind of the after now. And I think we'll be fine, but I think it's gonna be an adjustment to find a new routine. And then yeah. unfortunately for Yenna, she's gonna to have to find a new routine here and then she's gonna move and find another routine. And have to, so she's gotta do two new routines soon. Why would anything be easy? <laughs> it, it's not. But, uh, yeah, I, I definitely agree the routines keep you kind of going. Yeah, and you know, even though I just made, so it's been, it's been almost two weeks since I decided I was going to go on a pause, but I just did my pause video yesterday. I've gotten lots of like feedback, but I think one of the ways I'm going to be continuing to go forward is by just managing and controlling what I can. Right now, I can't live in this world where I'm trying to do all of the things I'm just prioritizing, and I think I think we both have the ability to prioritize and set some boundaries for ourselves on what we can and can't do. And I hope people understand that just because someone says that I'm not actively trying to lose weight right now doesn't mean that they're trying to fall off the wagon or anything like that. It just means that trying to lose weight right now and try to prioritize that would create more stress. Yeah. Which would just make things harder. Right now, everyone's trying to keep their head up and stay afloat and figure this moving stuff. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty indescribable when, especially, this is the first time I've been in a situation where we're moving and we don't get orders until three weeks before we're supposed to be moving. And then the, it's just been, one day I'll do a full video on it, but it's been an off in time. It could have been better. It had definitely could be worse. I know there's a lot of horror stories out there. It could definitely have been a lot worse. Your, your messages were funny. I was laughing. My what, what? Your messages went the more worse video. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I was texting her the whole time. I'm like, are you serious? Is this our life right now? I'm like, and it was the, the, the first day that one of the, the movers that didn't come back went to the bathroom and just kept taking me <laughs> shits every day. Oh my gosh! And I had to ask, did you mean shits or shots? When <laughs> they drinking or they taking shots? Yeah. No. Well, that reminds me, um, Ricky said he did have to change a poopy diaper. And he really? was like, so, so Ricky kept Noah while we went to Osage Beach today and his like ideal situation happened. He's like, I'm hoping that he doesn't poop until Tanner comes home for lunch and that happened. Then 
He took another poop. <laughs> Ricky, Ricky had like bad allergies or something. He had like a huge flare up. He's like, I couldn't even breathe out of my nose and yet well, I could still lucky. smell it. Yeah, you're lucky that you could breathe out of your nose. Yeah, he said that it didn't help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was still Because it's very home. pungent. It's like the eucalyptus or whatever, like, I don't know, it just goes in. Like, it doesn't matter if you're, you can't smell anything, just, you can smell that. And she's like, he's like, no, it was just chill, like, hanging out. And, well, yeah. he's lucky that he was so easy, because like, he's not always easy. Sometimes he's an alligator that you need to fight. <laughs> I've, I have seen this. I have, like, tried to distract Noah for her at times. Because <laughs> he does. He's like, ridiculous sometimes. He's like, all right, I've pooped. The diaper is off. It's time to roll in it. Mm -hmm. Stop me. Oh, did I tell you the other day when I was trying to take a picture about TV because someone was asking like, oh, what size is, you know, how big is your TV, whatever, like I'm trying to figure out what I want in my house and I wanted to take a picture and no one was there, he had taken his diaper off and he took a shit on the floor and he was watching TV and I had to take a picture. <laughs> I, was no, like, I, didn't. I was like, well, here's a picture of a TV, this is a 65 inch TV and there's a toddler that does take a shit on the floor too. <laughs> Welcome. Wow, that's hilarious. <laughs> Yep. That's hilarious. Cool. Maybe he is getting ready for potty training if he's taking his own diaper off and pooping on the floor. That's literally, I don't know, somehow then the poop was, I don't know if he kept pooping more when I took him to the <laughs> changing table because somewhere there was just shit everywhere after that. I was like, it looks pretty clean in the pictures. I don't know what happened. <laughs> That's funny. Um, how do you motivate yourself while you're on your period? My cravings ruin it all. Well, just... Eat your crap and work out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think, I don't know, I feel like a couple of years ago I was very uptight about everything and now I'm just like so laid back. I'm like, I don't really care. It's just not worth it, you know, stress about it, being like too... Like I understand you, sometimes you need to make boundaries for yourself and whatever, but if, if, if all you do is just like, if you're too uptight about it, too like angry at yourself about doing something, you need to change your attitude. And, yeah, mindset because that's not working clearly. Yeah, well, and like it's, I mean, part of my whole like I'm taking a pause or whatever is because I'm so, I get so rigid about it and mm -hmm. I felt that yeah, when my family was here and like that, it just, it stresses everyone out. Nobody's having a good time mm -hmm. and then it's just gonna make things worse for yourself yeah. too. Like if you have too much stress hormones in you, that also prevents weight loss. Yeah. And I mean, I would make, I would make the healthiest choices you can. I don't know. I don't and know. it's okay with to just cravings. have cravings sometimes. Yeah. And you know, if you like, if you don't want to work out, then like, I don't know how long your period lasts. That's it. <laughs> You're irrelevant. But like, it doesn't matter if it's a week or three days or two days. But relax. It's yeah. okay. It does like. When you're when you're done with your period, if you don't want to work out, then don't work out and get back on the saddle, so to speak, as soon as you're done. I think stopping like an all or nothing, like I have to do everything or it's ruined. Mm -hmm. Finding a way to work with yourself and negotiate to where that's not your mindset mm -hmm. is important. Like nothing is ruined if you take a day off or take two, two days off, you're, you're still good. Sometimes you just need yeah. rest. And that could be a good, like e even if like if you're a regular and you know, you're kind of anticipating that you know, don't want to work out when you're in your period, maybe you could do like a schedule that you go hard the week before your period starts and then your period week could be like a, like a rest week, you do like light walks or whatever, like you can you can play around like that too and then you wouldn't necessarily, maybe you feel less guilty. Yeah, I also read recently that, and I haven't tried this out, but I was doing some random reading stuff and if you swim while you're on your period, it's supposed to help with cramping, so. Yeah, swimming is pretty good, good so I feel like anything. Really. Yeah, they said that it's like the, the pressure, the pressure from the water helps with the cramps, but I would say like, I mean, you have to use, when it comes to working out, you need to use your judgment. It's kind of even when you're sick. Like sometimes you can still work out and sometimes you shouldn't. If you're in the bed, like and in, in, in excruciating pain, of course you're not gonna work out and yeah. that should be okay. And then as far as your cravings, I would suggest, I would suggest making sure you're taking in multivitamins, that you're, if you're having any fierce that cravings, talk to your doctor. Maybe your iron's low or something. Iron, off. It, that's a, that's another hashtag triggered. No, not really in a bad way, but um, a lot of women, especially if your period are heavy, if you're bleeding heavy, you're most likely your iron levels are low. Yeah. So go check those out if you can. Take iron supplements. I was just talking about this with my friend who happens to be a nurse too. I have a lot of nurse friends for some reason, but. <laughs> and she had that problem, she, you know, she was, 
she had heavy, heavy flow. Then she got the copper IUD, which made it worse. And it's been, it has taken for, it's taken her for at least a year now to get the storage iron. I know, I think it's ferritin in English too, but that's the most important one. Your hemoglobin can be really good, but your storage iron, iron can be low. So you need to check that out. Yeah. It takes long to restore the levels. I feel like too, I mean, and this is not everybody's experience. In my experience with my body, when I'm craving something, it typically means I'm not doing something right. Like there's something that my diet is missing, some kind of nutrient that I'm missing. That's right. Or it's like just strictly emotional, but I can usually tell the difference. And I've learned over the past year or so really to hone in on what I'm feeling. And then I just don't. What is one thing you're going to miss about each other the most? A banter. My British also. Banter. I like it. Yeah, I feel like we have good, we have really good conversations. Mm -hmm. We do. And the, it, our conversations really go from the topics are just on all, like everywhere. It's not just always one topic, but just everything and beyond. Yeah, but we can be very surface level and we can be very deep. We have a lot of deep conversations. <laughs> I don't know why, but it always goes into a super deep level. And even though we have, like, we're pretty similar and we agree on a lot of stuff, but there's still a lot of things that we do not really agree or see eye to eye necessarily. It's not yeah. like we, do, we don't argue, but it's that we just have a different idea or like different opinion and that doesn't matter because we have like, we're like, oh, never thought about it this way and are oh, interesting. We yeah. can respect each other's views even though. I think that's one thing that I'll miss a lot is that we, we can disagree on everything and still be completely normal. Yeah, like, and, oh, interesting. <laughs> yeah, keep going. yeah. so like it doesn't, we don't have to we don't have to see everything the same way and i think that it's important to to have conversations with people that don't agree that with don't everything. exactly yeah. and i feel like i feel like a lot of people especially now like oh i only like people that agree with me but then at the same time this world would be so boring if everyone would be the same yeah and like nobody's really the same and just because of recent events you know a couple years you know the covid and before that i feel like people are so aggressive about their views and their opinions and if people don't completely see things the mm -hmm. same way then it makes someone good and someone bad it's terrifying but, honestly like yeah. how many families have broken up because of that or like really relationship because oh you decided to vote for a certain person or party or you that's not what you support or you you don't believe in covid or you do and you're like that's just that it's just crazy yeah i just think it's definitely i i think i would agree like our banter conversation we just happen. I'll miss our workouts. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So I'll just miss her, you know? We're gonna do those visits and training camps. How do we meet? We already answered that. How do we meet? We already answered that. <laughs> Next question. How is you know, combining Noah with exercising that so um that many times? Yeah. It's oh because we've been working at your garage, I can, you know, I'll just bring him with. And if before COVID, pre-COVID times, here at Fort Lindenwood, you can bring your child to the gym. And there was like an area, like an entire room that had like a kid's section and then like a little workout stuff. So you could work out and your kid could be there. Doesn't, you know, can't do that currently, but you know, that's, just bring yeah. your kid with. Yeah, and just, you know, incorporate incorporate your kids into your workouts, too. So, like, yeah. everything doesn't have to look so, like, Instagram worthy, perfect. Yeah, it can be messy. Yeah, and, like, Noah's been here with us most of the time, and sometimes Ricky's been home. You know, Noah's gonna go with them. They know him as Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oops. <laughs> if my husband's home, sometimes he'll keep Noah while we work out, or for part of the workout, and then mm -hmm. if... Tanner's home, Yuna's husband, then I just leave Noah home. Yeah. And we had like a little bigger pack and play that they usually are and he was there when we used the treadmill or the or the bike. Yeah. It went there towards the end. So in the beginning it was easier because Noah was really small. He was tiny. He was yeah. sometimes the entire workout he was just in his infant carrier. Yeah. Because he was less no, it was around six months maybe. Yeah. So like sometimes he was just asleep there. Yeah. Yeah, so it just yeah, just 
she brought him most of the time. Uh, what is Yana doing for a living and did she always want to be a mom? A mum. Mum, so I must be a British person. Uh, I don't do anything for a living. <laughs> I'm not a mom. <laughs> I take care of my child. I do not take care of the house, apparently. <laughs> if you ask my husband. <laughs> I do. And I have a master's degree in law, so I would like to do something in the field. So maybe I'll get a job when we move. Because I feel like there's no point of getting one right now because we're going to be here for... I've been kind of trying to apply for jobs in Virginia, so we shall see. And the second part of that question was, did you always want to be a mom? No. <laughs> I, I don't think I ever really thought about it that much or like, ooh, I want to be, like, it wasn't really a thought. I think with my very first boyfriend, it was kind of like, yeah, maybe someday, but we were so young when we started dating and even when we broke up. But then when I got, started dating my now husband, and I was like, yeah, I think we could, I think I want kids. I've always wanted dogs. <laughs> I love dogs. Mm -hmm. I have my little far back home, so. <laughs> He's not eating. Um, April, will you be going back to jumping rope? It's a wonderful exercise. I really enjoy work, jumping rope. I just think it it hasn't been something that we've done. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I've, I've seen so many TikTok videos of people jumping rope and doing all kinds of weird tricks, and I'm like. <gasps> <laughs> you should jump rope. But I feel like I would just get tangled. I'm so tall that I need to be doing it outside. Because it's yeah. going to hit the ceiling real yeah. fast. I can see that. And I'm going to, you know, you need to be upset. Um, how do y'all fight sugar cravings? I don't. I'm going to be... <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I do not fight them. I'm addicted to sugar. So, if you have any tips, please let me know. <laughs> I, um, I try to stay away from sugar. I love dessert and... I don't like cooking, but I like baking, and I think I'm really good at baking stuff. Yeah, making she cheesecakes is. and stuff from the scratch. They're delicious, but then, you know, I avoid, I avoid making those because my husband doesn't like to eat those because he's weird and he claims <laughs> that he doesn't like sweets, which I think is a lie. But then I end, up, I end up eating the entire cheesecake, so I'm like, I can't do this. It's too much, so. Yeah. Would you ever get a magic tattoo? <laughs> I could. You'd get a matching tattoo with me? Yeah. <laughs> do you have any tattoos? I have two tattoos. You have tattoos? Mm -hmm. How do I not know this? Because they're hidden. The one here goes all the way, kind of get in the stuff. And the one is over here. Okay. On my side. They're both text. Oh, well, Yana would get a matching tattoo with me. I would totally get a matching temporary tattoo with you. <laughs> I want like these tiny ones. Like I don't want anything big anymore. Yeah, and I've been thinking of kind of lasering these off because this one got stretched. I have a stretch mark going right in the middle, at the beginning. It's like a word, yeah, like letters. So that kind of kind of messed it up. I don't know what's, what it's gonna look like if I lose more weight. If it's gonna, if we ever decided to get matching tattoos, I feel like my baby sister would volunteer as tribute. <laughs> she could get the <laughs> tattoo for me, and I could be like, "That's my tattoo that matches my friend Yenna." I just don't have any tattoos, and I probably won't get them. So I won't. Like I'm very obsessed about tiny tattoos now that are very like discreet. Yeah, and, like thin lines. But that means that whoever is gonna make it needs to be really talented because apparently it's super hard to make thin straight lines when yeah. you tattoo someone. I can see that. So probably that's why I don't have any of those. I um, I like tattoos. I like Angelina Jolie. A thousand years ago, I saw that she like had the coordinates of where her children were born. Mm -hmm. Tattoos. I know she has something here that are made with the like the like a very ancient technique that looks kind of pretty. Yeah. Like, so I mean, I thought it like I just like I I can't if, if I get one tattoo, I'm gonna have 800 tattoos. So if I ever get a tattoo, but that's what I everybody kept telling me that um oh. Like, it's kind of like with the piercings. When you take one, you can't really stop it. That kind of happened. I got my belly, belly button pierced when I was 14. About to turn 15. Everybody chill. <laughs> <laughs> I had permission from my parents, so I was I was a really, I was a good teenager. So I wanted that, and then I got my, well, I got this one, the one pierced. Okay. But then I got my tongue after. I asked for permission. My mom said no. I still did it. <laughs> I was 16. <laughs> she was mad. My dad laughed. But then I kind of wanted more piercings, but I didn't want to do it on my face because you know it's gonna there's gonna be a scar when I take it off. This because it's tiny and people are really not gonna even notice. I want this freaking thing. Thanks for your question. 
<laughs> now again, I was planning our tattoos. So it had to be super, super tiny. Mm -hmm. Like this is tiny. That's so cute. Right? Weird. It's like a little. You should show them. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try touching the. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay. There you go. It is. Is that so cool? I don't know who's ever this is, but it's Pinterest. Now we're, oh, there oh, we are, there we are, there we are. We could, ah! we could get a T-Rex that is this tiny. Yes. See, I know what, I know. That would be so funny. Cool. <laughs> okay. Right, it would be cute. Look at, look at this. I want something like this. Ooh, I like this butterfly. I doubt I would ever get a T-Rex tattoo, so. She will. Um, <laughs> do you like being military wives? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what So, I don't ever think about being a military wife. Yeah, I don't feel like that really defines me, but. Yeah, it definitely doesn't define me. It's not something that I actively think about so. Mm -mm. Like I have I a wife and my husband is in the military mm -hmm. and I don't know any other life. Yeah. <laughs> we met when he was in the military and it still is. I don't know, I feel like it I feel like it would be weird if he would get out now. And like, well what would we do? Yeah. So I guess I do enjoy it because then I would feel weird. Maybe it's because I don't have a job right now. That again, yeah. the idea feels weird because if I would get a really good job and make good money, I guess, then of course me thinking about it. thinking about money as a French person. <laughs> but you know, then I probably wouldn't be because then I would have another identity, I guess, too. Yeah. 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 That's interesting. Yeah, I don't really think about being a military wife. What was the question again? Do you like being a military wife? I made it. I would say there are more things that I do not like about it than I like about it. However, mm -hmm. I am grateful that my husband gets to do something that he enjoys. And I'm grateful for the benefits of this job. And really the benefits, gets us. Yeah. Sure, there's like the healthcare might not be the greatest in the world. But having healthcare is so important. Exactly. And it's free. So I can't really complain. Like childbirth was entirely free. And because you're military, you get so many things, so many people want to support you. And I think that's amazing. That's one of the things that I really think is great in the US and American people. Everybody like everybody does so much like charity and like yeah. They're helpful people and they're very giving people people too. I think too, if so if you are watching this and you are a military wife especially if you're a newer military wife, do research. There Take are so advantage. many programs. If you haven't gone to school, like we both have already gone through school and done stuff like that way before we mm -hmm. ever even met our husbands. But you can also use, if you're already doing university studies, college studies, whatever, you can use, there's a lot of schools that accept that grant so you can just use that $4,000 towards your tuition fees. So yeah, so mm -hmm. there's just, but you know, beyond that, there's just so many, whenever you move to a new place, there's resources. Yes. If you go to buy a home, there's financial resources. So, you know, when you're like mm -hmm. purchasing things or even like leases, if you have questions, like if you're just going throughout your day and you're like, I wonder about this and Google doesn't have your answer, then you can probably make an appointment somewhere on Soldier Post support your... centers. Look those up on your base. Hey, beautiful people. It's me from the future. Well, actually, I guess it's like the past for you actively watching this, but it's for the future me of the person I was when I recorded this. <laughs> anyway, I'm stopping us because we talked for about 20 minutes about the benefits afforded to military families, which wasn't even the answer to the, it wasn't the question, but it's such a good topic. I thought I would write a blog post just kind of outlining some of those benefits. And that brings me to Squarespace. Squarespace is sponsoring today's video. I love my Squarespace website. It is so beautiful. I am constantly working to improve it. And now that we've moved, I will be posting quite a bit more content on my blog. So if you're interested, check it out. The link's in the description below. However, I do want to tell you a few of the benefits of Squarespace. So Squarespace is easily controlled from your phone. So if you have an iOS or Android device, you can access your website and upload blog posts on the go. It's very awesome. And there's so many beautiful templates to go that really give you a polished professional or a fun and polished look, whatever kind of look you're going for, there is a template available. And then they have so many available components to your content management system. It's just, it's 
awesome. Squarespace is wonderful. If you would like to try a Squarespace website, go to squarespace.com backslash April Lauren for your free trial. And then when you get ready to go live, use code April Lauren to save 10% off of your first website or domain purchase. Kettle, the heddle, the kettle hell um, time challenges you've been doing together. Probably like, um, what the heck is the word? I can't think which. Um, I would say I probably won't. I might do kettle hell. I'm I'm going to take that as one of my like points of regular measure or whatever. I won't continue to do kettle hell in that way. I will. Like we might do it every once in a while, but yeah. I don't think we're gonna do a monthly thing. No. Because I don't know. I feel like we we have. Well, I think you have a lot. You can still make the time way faster. When you lose weight, you're gonna be a lot faster. Maybe. But I feel like I feel well, like I feel like it's time for us to go up and wait. I feel like there's a lot yeah, of different bunch variables. of other stuff, yeah. yeah. So I mean I think we'll probably continue to do it, but it'll be when we can get together. I don't I don't foresee myself. I mean I might. I don't know. That's a big I don't know. We for sure will do it together at some point in the future. There's like a word or saying in Finnish. <laughs> regularly, regularly we can do it. <laughs> Sporadically. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be regular doing it irregularly. <laughs> that's what, what the Finnish one kind of We means. will consistently, randomly do it together. Yes, exactly, that's what like, you know, sometimes, though, like, there's no, we're gonna be consistent of being random. Yeah, it's like spot checks. <laughs> like, Surprise, we're gonna do it. Um, let's see. When will Jenna's, Jenna's, when will Jenna's, it is Jenna, so it is spelled Jenna, but it is Jenna. We pronounce our J's kind of like, English speaking people would say they're wise. Yeah. So yeah. it's still the, the, technically the same name. I'm not bothered when people say Jenna, especially like well, people that I don't know. She's not <laughs> not by people that I don't know. I don't really, because they would, like, they don't know. <laughs> but my friends and family know how to pronounce my name yes. in the States. <laughs> Obviously, I do, do know that. So. We just talked about in our last Kettle Hill video, she got, they got, they got their orders and they know where they're going. Yeah, we're gonna go to Fort Belvoir, Virginia. That. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited for you. And I'm like, we've talked about this before, but I'm excited that it's close. Mm -hmm. And there's a bunch of things to do around that area. And apparently what I've heard, the base is really beautiful. Like, amazing. And then there's a how are you going to keep motivated together when you move away, Zoom workouts, question mark. I think like like we said before, we have our Apple Watches. Mm -hmm. we'll and we can FaceTime. If we're gonna do a virtual thing, we're gonna FaceTime. We're not gonna use Zoom. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm not even old, but I'm confused about Zoom. So. <laughs> we're probably gonna, if we do a podcast, we're probably gonna do Zoom. I know. So. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. I've used Zoom, it's fine. It's fine. It can, it can be temperamental though. We shall see. Um, we'll see. We don't know it. No, we, we know nothing. Um, have either of you had a psychic reading or something similar? No, but I would kind of want one done. They, like the idea of getting one done kind of freaks me out. I know my one of my friends, really good friends from Finland, she went to this person who did like a psychic reading and she was kind of like, eh, whatever. And she was spot on. If a psychic could truly predict your future, would you, would want, you to want to know? Would you no. want to know? Same. I feel like, I don't know, like especially if it's negative, like sure, positive, woohoo, great things, but life is not always positive. I almost think though that with a lot of positive stuff, like let's say they're like, okay, you're gonna have your own law practice mm -hmm. in five years. Like maybe, maybe hearing that news like it gives you motivation to do it. But also it could pa make me passive and not like kind of just waiting for it to happen. And then mm -hmm. it doesn't happen or it that doesn't happen true. as good as it would have if you wouldn't have uh -huh. known. And I'm just would be terrified to know if something bad is going to happen. Yeah. I don't want to know that. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like, would you like to know when you died now? <laughs> What's like, it's like PCSing. Like it, on one hand, so I mean, we knew when we moved here that we would be PCSing. And that kind of sucks. Like soon. It's all, yeah, it's almost better to not know and then find out. Like, it's happening. And that way you, you enjoy your moments and you're not like already preparing for what's going on. Yeah, happen. I feel like now I'm on a limbo of just waiting. Yeah. So I'm not really doing like, sure, I'm it's gonna rough. try to write a list of things that I wanna do before we move. But then at the same time, I'm like, oh, I don't wanna buy anything for the house because we're moving. And 
I shouldn't but like you know I need to start packing I need to start getting rid of stuff and it's just and it's hard military wise because we're always going to be moving and so mm -hmm. it's just yeah we should be experts but I, don't know, I haven't moved that many times I'm kind of newbie so let's see yeah. um, what has Jana noticed most about your transformation fitness level since you two started working out who's your your level yeah we'll do both do mine and do your own for you, I, like you have like improved a lot. You don't take as many breaks. You're very like a lot faster. Yeah, a lot of inches have disappeared. Yeah, like a lot. Like yeah, you're. I you're had very strong. I had extremely limited mobility when we started. Working yeah, out. there was a bunch of stuff that you had. Like I feel like a lot of the workouts you have to like. We couldn't do like we couldn't just pull a workout online without modifying almost all of them but I had that same issue too because of my yeah. trying to recover from childbirth but like all of that is pretty much yeah. you don't have to modify pretty much anything anymore no we can I mean with the Natasha Ocean program we had to modify <laughs> a lot I was I like what I like to do I was offended yeah this is for a regular athletic person no it's like handstand well, push-ups no, <laughs> like everybody can do this I'm like absolutely absolutely not <laughs> I don't feel like what <laughs> it wasn't even like an intermediate or anything. It was a oh, this is a beginner thing. Yeah. I'm like, excuse me. It was not. What kind of a beginner? Yeah. <laughs> I have spaghetti arms. I don't think like what? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but it, regardless, it was still fun to try to do this, and I really enjoyed her workouts because a lot of them were the same type of stuff that I did when I was doing track, so like running stuff. So that was very natural for me and I feel like my body was like, oh, I know how to do this. I remember how to do, like, my mama muscles were like, oh, I remember this. That was fun. I think, I think it's similar for me. So what I've noticed for myself is just that I have extreme, like, I can go, I can walk as long as I want to walk. Mm -hmm. I'm not, my body isn't going to stop me. I can work out and do a lot of things that I couldn't do before. Mm -hmm. So, like, just my life overall is exponentially better. That's what I've experienced, not just noticed. Yeah. And then as far as what I noticed about Yena is same thing, like she can do, there's so many things that we had to be so careful with at the beginning, even just like regular squats or yeah. like lunges, like everything we had to be so mindful mm -hmm. about. And now we just do them almost in, in a nonchalant like yeah, we, type we of way. We don't have to be worried that much, which yeah. is great. It's a huge blessing in both ways. Yeah. And um, yeah, so the next question, is Yenna going to continue working out without your home gym? If so, how? I'm trying. I will try. Um, I'm probably going to use the gym on post or gyms that we have. Yeah. Depending on... Because, you know, right now I can't take my son with me because they say no, no to kids right now because COVID. Yeah. So if I can, after my husband gets home from work, then absolutely. Other than, like, maybe I'll... I don't know. We have a running solar stroller. So I can start running, which I kind of want to do. I want to see how much I can improve in running. So I'll do something. I can do a bunch of home workouts, running. We've been talking about getting a stationary bike, but I don't know if there's point of, like, see, this is the waiting game. Because we're moving in less than two months or something like that, I don't even know. And I would recommend wait. Like watching how my mm. equipment was loaded, I would recommend waiting right. by any equipment. And I can use, there's gym, gym. Spin bikes in the gym on post that I can use for free and they're open pretty late and during the weekends so I can just go and use those before we move so does Yana get nervous about you leaving as far as working out motivation when you leave will she be just as motivated to work out still um and I think we both should answer this one yes because I'm I don't know I feel like if I have a workout buddy who's like hey let's go I'm gonna go I'm not gonna like cancel whatever but then if it's just me, I can always be like, oh, I'm not gonna go today. I'm, yeah. gonna go to, I'm gonna go tomorrow and then I'm not gonna, I end up yeah. not doing anything or half asking something. Yeah, I mean, pretty much 99 to every one time that I'm like, hey, are you working out tomorrow? It's a yes. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I think it goes both ways. I'm extraordinarily nervous. Mm -hmm. I'm a very, habits, habits can be super easy in a good and a bad way. And I feel like we have a good habit, mm -hmm. a good system going. And I'm so anxious that that's yeah. getting I feel disrupted. like I need, that's why I need like a coach or a workout partner. Yeah. So I'm like held accountable because it's very easy for me to just be like, <laughs> <laughs> not do yeah. stuff. 
I like skip. I don't know what. Maybe it's because I've always because I did track for so long and I had a coach, and I always did all the workouts. Because you know it was just the thing that I did. And we both have a passion for working out, so I think. Yeah, I don't I hate working fine. out. I like yeah. working out, but just starting the workout because I need a very specific plan. Like, hey, this is what you're gonna go do, and I'm and just go and do it. Yeah. If there's any leeway, I'm gonna be like, I don't know, uh, and then I'm just gonna kick rocks and not do shit. <laughs> yeah. Same. I think it's. Good. I think it's. I think we're gonna find our way. It'll be fine. Yeah. Um. I'm but, gonna be traveling. Not me. I'm weird. Me, my family, we're gonna be traveling a lot when we PCS. We have so many things to attend. So, yeah. I just wanna give a shout out to Yenna because she's strong and amazing and I love her dimples Aww. too. Diane Mayberry. Thank you. Um, you posted 11 times. <laughs> this, it, there was a glitch when I posted this on YouTube. <laughs> Um, have both your husbands picked up good habits since your lifestyle change? No. Are they motivated to work out too? No. <laughs> Tell <laughs> what she says. Same. I'm kind of, I wish, like, he kind of is trying to work out, but not because I'm working out. Yeah. I think there's been times, like, my husband definitely has worked out on, like, the home gym is convenient to where having it, he does come out here and work out mm -hmm. sometimes on his own. I think. But not often. Because of you guys' his home gym, my husband's like, oh, maybe we should have like a home gym too. I'm like, exactly, we should. Yeah. And I yeah. thought he would be straight up like, no, when I said we should get a stationary bike. He's like, oh, yeah, I think that's a good idea. And I'm like, excuse me, why are That's you? good, yeah. So they have been influenced, but. Good, it's that's a good thing. Small ways. Yeah. What is your favorite exercise and your favorite food and your favorite time of day to work out? I used to hate, I'm going to start with the workout thing. I used to hate morning workouts because that's what I did at, I guess it's high school in English. Because I went to like a sports high school by choice so I could concentrate on becoming a professional athlete, which obviously did not happen. But <laughs> So I hated the morning workouts. I felt like I was never, like my body wasn't awake enough to do like harder workouts. So I preferred after like well, around 6 p.m. or something like that. So now I prefer morning workouts because then I feel like I have more energy during the day and then I got it done so I don't have to like wait for the entire day. I'm like, oh, if I'm tired or whatever, I think yeah. I'm over with and you know, it brings me energy. So I like it. Yeah, I think morning workouts are probably my favorite. I hate, I hate morning workouts. Mm -hmm. For my, the rest of my day, morning workouts are the best, but really I love working out whenever. Yeah, if I have the time, I don't really care what time I'm working out. But I feel like if I need to get shit done, <laughs> then morning workouts are the best. I really like an active lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Like I would be very happy if I like started my day with a workout. Like if I was fit enough where I could start my day with like a, a workout, and then I could go like on an, an awesome hike, and then mm -hmm. do like some yoga, and like I don't know. I would just pack my day full. Yeah. Favorite food? What what? What, what, what were the other questions? Favorite, Favorite food? Favorite food. Mm, I'm gonna say. It's a finished food, uh, um, sauteed, 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 how do you say that? It's sauteed, sauteed reindeer. It's really good. Sounds good. You can't get it. I like chicken. I like steak. <laughs> Ooh, a medium rare steak. Mm. Mm. Just kiss. Yeah. Um, and my favorite exercise, I, I mean, I don't know, I like, there's so many. I really like the like hang and clean mm -hmm. and press a lot just because it, I feel like it gets my heart rate so up mm -hmm. and um, it works like all the muscles in my body mm -hmm. and it's the one like you have to do right <laughs> or you're gonna get hurt. I, I do, I like a clean, clean, <laughs> that sounds so weird. I know there's so many and I was thinking of old type of like a workout as like English language is weird. To me exercise just sounds like a whole workout rather than just one movement, you know? I like this. I'm only going to do a few more questions because we've been talking. I don't know how far I'll edit this down. We've been talking for like over an hour. Um, the whole time I've misheard your friend's name as Yenna, which is right. I thought it was such a unique name, but now I know from this post that it's Jenna. <laughs> it is spelled Jenna, but it is Yenna, which we, we, uh, we, we, we just pronounce it differently. Yeah. I know it's not a very unique name, <laughs> but my parents chose it because they wanted an international name. So I don't know, like I don't know the logic because they obviously knew that it's gonna be pronounced differently. Yeah. So I'm I'm just curious about that. How did Hannah feel about being on your videos initially? Does she feel the same now? I don't know. I I was like, sure. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I've been trying to 
be more relaxed about everything in my life because I feel like it's just gonna make my life easier for me if I just go with it. Kind of like the improv thing. Yes, and just go with it. I'll yeah. Be fine. Yeah. Um, do you and Yenna just do girls lunch out? Do drinks and shop? Well, I don't drink. <laughs> but yes. But we've done all of those things. Yeah. Except drinking. Yeah. Which Yenna has drink and I drink. I have not. <laughs> I drink. I come from Finland. I drink. Um, April, excuse me, but how tall are you? What's happening here? <laughs> I'm 5'2 and I'm 5'11, so that's why we look so wonky. <laughs> um... Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna say Matilda. If that was finished, would I say yeah, Matilda? Matilda Mietinen. Yep. Okay. Um, Matilda asks, would you consider making a community challenge like you did in August, I think? Oh. And I think, so I did like a bingo in August and then I did the was, I really like those. Those are really cool yeah. ideas. I, I think I'll, seen a lot of people do that. So yeah, I think I will. When we get moved, we just have terrible internet here. Everything's going to be so much better. To a degree, when we move, <laughs> everything's gonna be so much better. And it's gonna come crashing down somehow. I feel like it probably will. It probably will. But you know, whatever. I don't want to be a downer, but I feel like that we're always like, oh. the internet is going to be better, no matter what. The no, internet's 100%, going to be better. Hundred percent. I don't. I get an upload. I get like my internet does two megabytes per second. Like I know most people don't know internet things, but that's like, it's like one step up from dial up, yeah. maybe. Or is it? <laughs> maybe <laughs> it's gonna be worse than. That. But yes, I think that would be fun, and I I like that you said that it and was super fun. It was, and I thought it was a great idea. I haven't seen people do that, and the graphics you did were great. Thank you. Um, Yena, what is your favorite finished chocolate? I like the Futzer Futzer one. The Valga Zupla minus Zupla. It's like white chocolate and milk chocolate in the same bar. I call it. I think it's called. Um, Blue and white in English. See it in your one, and it's really good. Okay, so last question. Um, what is your favorite things about one another? I feel so positive. I know some of you haters think that she's fake positive. Oh, she's you. not. Doesn't mean that she's always in a good mood. No, definitely not. <laughs> but she's still trying to always see the positive sides, which I think is great, and I should probably do the same. <laughs> Try to be the same way. Yeah. I love how open Yena is. Yena is open to any form of communication. She's open to any sort of activity. She's open. I just feel like you are a very open person. And I know you work to be that way. Yeah, I've been really trying. That and I admire story? that too. Because I mean, that's, it takes it. Like, we both are extraordinarily strong willed and oh, determined people. Yeah. And I somehow think, we married into, <laughs> married into married people who are very strong willed. Yes. And yeah. stubborn, so I don't know why, what we're doing. <laughs> I, apparently, we like challengers. <laughs> like her punishment. Um, <laughs> but um, I, I love how open Yenna is to life and to challenges and activities, and it's very inspiring. And I'm going to miss you. We're gonna, we, we have to, we're gonna figure something out. Yeah. I mean, it's only four hours. Yeah. Only four hours. And you like to drive. I do. And we're gonna get a new car, hopefully. <laughs> but I like, like to drive, drive too. <laughs> well, and there's so many things I wanna see in DC. And part of the lore of Fort Bragg is that we could do the DC things without being living in DC. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which, yeah. Yep. Anyway, okay, well, that wraps up this Q&A. Jesse. <laughs> this is the last time you guys will see you in a while. Oh, that's weird. It's so sad. But I, I kind of miss Fayetteville. <laughs> People who know Fayetteville probably think I'm crazy, but I do miss it. Yeah. And the little restaurants. Fayetteville I'm has excited. a bunch of cute, re like, amazing restaurants. I'm excited. So I need to come visit because I miss those things. Yes. Yes. All right. Well, I love you guys. 